everybody, my name is Gian Chabany and I'm an Empathy Lab trained author and illustrator. And I'm here to tell you about my empathy walk in Paris, which I did this week. So my walk began in the Luxembourg garden, the Jardin de Luxembourg, which is right opposite a lovely bilingual bookshop called the Red Wheelbarrow, which you must visit if you ever come to Paris. My walk began at the entrance on Boulevard Saint-Michel, where people spin in non-stop from uh, the busy street and station exit. And it was a really lovely sunny day and the park was full of people enjoying the bank holiday weekend. I immediately sat down near a Chinese family, a mom, a dad and daughter who were sitting on a bench. And I was drawn to them because the dad and the teenage, teenage daughter were on their phones and the mom was talking in this really animated, um, amused way. And I really wanted to know what she was saying. And I, I thought they were speaking Mandarin together, but afterwards I looked up the difference between Mandarin and Cantonese just to be sure. And when I did that, I learned all kinds of interesting things, like the fact that in Mandarin, the words end in vowel or nasal sounds, whereas Cantonese has certain consonants at the end of words. Next, there was a, a couple with a small baby. The mum had just breastfed and what struck me was how doting dad was. He had his arm wrapped right around the mum and he was gazing at their baby in such awe. And afterwards he got the pram ready to put the baby back in. And it felt like they were first time parents, but they didn't look frazzled, just really happy and affectionate with one another. And they also had this lovely sleepy way of moving, like they were completely in sync with their baby. Next I drew a man who had fallen asleep on the bench. Um, when he woke up though, I heard a woman a couple of benches away call to him and he checked his phone and then he smiled and looked up at me and I realised she texted him to tell him that I'd been drawing him. I was quite embarrassed as I always am if someone notices that I've been drawing them. Uh, part of me really wants to talk to them but my main fear is that they'll want to see the drawing and then be really disappointed or even offended. Um, so I quickly moved on to another part of the park. I looked at some of the statues there and when I was in front of the Margaret of Anjou statue which I was looking up on my phone actually because I couldn't remember who Margaret of Anjou was. Um, this man came rumbling past with a big shopping trolley and heavy looking bags. And this made me think that he, he might be homeless. He also had dirty shoes and quite swollen hands. Um, but he also looked very clean and he had two smart coats on, um, bearing in mind it was a boiling hot day. And another unusual thing was that he had a really fancy camera around his neck, he was taking photos. And I watched him for a bit and I saw that he took a photo of this lion statue um, from about 10 different angles. And I wondered if he was a photographer or an artist. He was pretty intriguing. Um, he noticed me watching him though and looked a bit disturbed by it. Um, so I quickly moved on to another part of the park. I ended my walk in front of the fountain in the middle of the park where there were lots of children, um, trying to catch these boats with sticks and each boat had a flag from a different country on it and it's really sweet to see how excited the children were to play this game and, and how many different languages I heard. There was obviously French, there was German, Swedish, English, Arabic, Brazilian Portuguese um, and there were quite a lot of stressed parents making sure that their kids didn't fall into the water and I have to admit I felt quite grateful that I didn't have mine with me to worry about and I could just concentrate on watching the kids play in this really incredibly immersed way. I really enjoyed this empathy walk. It, it felt like a very joyful post-Covid one. Um, I was really happy to see so many tourists out again in Paris and even though loads of people were on their phones, it was nice to see so many people chatting and interacting with one another and it's clearly something we've all missed and it feels like that we're doing it all again in this really joyful and appreciative way. I hope you enjoyed my empathy walk and if you're ever in Paris, let's do one together. Let me know. Bye.